guys and welcome back to my channel I can't believe I'm standing here with the same plant all over again this is my Stanhopia Embray that I got from Curling Orchideen about yeah three months ago when I made this recording into bark media mixed up with some sphagnum moss and charcoal perhaps um, when I got it, um, it had quite a lot of new growth here. You can see this one coming up here. And there has been a new growth here. And there's also been a new growth yeah, somewhere else here. But they're all dried off. I mean, there's nothing left. It's only this uh, dry stuff left of the, uh, this new growth, for example. And yeah, and this one is coming on, but as you can see, the the tip of it is uh, is really dry and it doesn't open properly as well it never did I mean when I got it its newest growth looked like this and this wasn't my achievement it was from uh, when it arrived to me when I first got it from the nursery and this one uh, had a discount it was only 1250 I think it was and so it was a really cheap orchid but and the roots were hanging all over the side and everything you know well, what am I thinking about doing today? Well, I want to repot it yet another time, yet again. So as you can see, a new growth here. What happened to this one? It's dead, it's dry. So I, yeah, I came to the conclusion that I, I want to take, I want to get rid of this stuff, yeah? So I can see it more properly, see what's going on here. And in order to let it dry out, next to the pseudobulbs a little bit faster and as well as I want to I want to repot this guy a little bit higher up I think you see I think <laughs> that the water has made its way into the um, yeah in here between the sheath here and it started to rot perhaps that's why it doesn't develop correctly for me or I yeah as well as I'm not watering it enough, I think it's really difficult to keep up with the watering. I think this is the thirsty guy and all the energy goes to all the green large leaves here. Which are doing great, as you can see. They're still okay. No ugly markings. Uh, yeah. They are, uh, I mean, uh, hydrated. But the newest growth aren't. I mean, look at this. So I want to give this orchid a new opportunity to de develop its uh, new growth correctly. So, well, I'm just going to get it out of this pot and I'll get back to you in a sec. Yeah, as you can see, the roots are really dry and papery in a way underneath here. A lot of them are dead, unfortunately. But I'm not gonna, well, maybe I'll just cut cut off a few of them, but um, but you can see there's a lovely new root system here coming out from this new growth, but uh, it won't get a chance to, I mean, develop correctly since it's, uh, I mean, the pot was too small for it. So, yeah, I want this to go down into the media and be hydrated enough. Yes, well, I would just cut off this stuff here and yeah see if I can rinse the roots a little bit so I cut off quite a lot of this ugly um, yeah dry stuff here and you can see um, I saw I mean this little new growth here let's see if this one develops I know where it is it's on the part where most of the new new roots are coming out so let's just keep an eye on this one and see what happens if my project is successful or not. Um, yeah, and you know what? I bought a little bit of yeah <laughs> hydrogen peroxide, three percent. And you know how much this one cost? I think it's one hundred milliliters. Well, what does it say? Well, I think it's one hundred milliliters. Yeah, it says here, and. N uh, nine euro nine euro but I got it I'm gonna pour some of it into this bottle the spray bottle instead 
sprayer. And now I want to spray the roots. Since I couldn't do it last time. Because I didn't have this. Hydrogen peroxide then. And I want to spray the roots when they are um, dry. So this substance, this hydrogen peroxide, won't be so diluted. Otherwise there's no purpose to it. Not so much, at least. Just spray it a little bit, like this. Well, yeah, it's okay. And I'm not going to cut off any, any of the roots. Or am I? Yeah, I think I am. I'm going to cut a little bit of this newest ones here. Oh, this, these are the roots that were hanging out on the outside when I last repotted it. I mean, yeah. When it put uh, roots that are used to being on an outside of a pot into media, this sometimes happens. They, they die. Yeah. But, well, I'm not going to do any surgery on this plant. Uh, I, I don't want to disturb it anymore. I just want to make a simple repotting. Since it was only two and a half months ago, I, I made the last repotting on this guy. So, well, yeah. Okay. I have the same procedure with this one as with my Stenhopia oculata. Uh, for that guy, I used a wooden basket like this one, but a lot smaller. The one from Suerto I showed you, the beautiful one. But this one is an old one that I got at a yeah, second-hand shop. Yeah, whatever. Doesn't really matter. But the oculata is doing so great. And I, I thought that one was going to be the one, uh, well, it's not going to do so well. This one, I suppose this one was the one that was going to do best of the two of them. But, uh, well, no. Well, I'm just going to go like this. I'm going to add some sphagnum moss to it, to the bottom of it, just like I did with my, or for my oculata. Sphagnum moss in long strands, not cut sphagnum moss, that is. So, I'm going to cover the, the bottom of the uh, basket here, the wooden basket, with moss, a little bit. Yes, sir. Let's see. Yeah, like this. And I have this bark. But some, yeah, I'm going to reuse a little bit of the media, but I, uh, that guy didn't have so much media. I was a little bit too fast when I last repotted it all. A little bit too, well, I, yeah, I didn't do it correctly. I don't think so. I was a little bit too hasty, but I'm going to use this bark media mixed with some charcoal. And I'm also going to uh, mix it up with a little bit more sphagnum moss. I'm going to cut the sphagnum moss to distribute it a little bit more evenly, as I usually say, as I always say, but uh, well, that's the truth. I don't want a cluster of, of um, sphagnum moss here and a cluster there. It's not good for the roots, so I want it to be evenly distributed in the basket amongst the bark. Okay. Now, just mix it up. I know that Stanhopias are heavy feeders and heavy drinkers, so they need both in order to thrive. All right, so this is, yeah, it's a quite water retentive media now. Well, but since it's sitting in a um, in a wooden basket with such a lar large holes on the sides. This one can never be too damp. All right. And now over to what I forgot last time, I think. This uh, slow release fertilizer. It's uh, 16, 6 and 11. Yeah. And PK. So I'm going to add a little bit of it to it. Yeah. Just to uh, teaspoon. I will. And let's hope it stays in the, the basket. <laughs> okay, let's grab the orchid and get on with the repotting. Let's see here. Yeah, it's, it's growing in every direction. It's got a new growth here and a new growth there and another new growth here on the back side. So what to do? Well, 
let's see. Yeah, it's got new roots from everywhere, even on the side, which I didn't think was alive, <laughs> at least not alive anymore. I mean, the roots. Um, so, well, I think I have to put her, yeah, in the middle like this. But uh, I'm not going to make the same mistake again and put her too deep down into the pot. So, that's the purpose for this recording. Yeah, it's, it's a little bit, a little bit of a mess here, but but it's okay. It's okay. It's not a big deal, right? Um, yeah, it's a little bit too deep down, I think. Um, up here. Yeah, perhaps, perhaps. This large gap here, fill it up. Down into the pot. Okay. of okay yeah or do I want some more bark no see here as I told you I wanted it to be a little bit more up in the pot or in the basket as for now it was a little bit it was buried a little bit too deep and it was too dry. So, well, I'm just going to add a little bit of uh, sphagnum moss on top of it, I think. A little bit, a little bit, a little bit uh, here in the gaps where the new roots are. All right, D, row. Yeah. No, no, I think it's okay. Let's put the tag in. All right, let's see. Oh, metal chain. I, I'm not so fond of this metal stuff, metal chain here, but uh, well, I guess I'll have to get used to it. Or do I? Do I even want to get used to it? Um, probably not. But maybe I can have, yeah, maybe I can find another solution. But anyways, let's not fuss with this one. Yeah, now it's reported and... Yeah, I will of course keep you updated. And I'm going to press it a little bit more down here. Yeah, not bury it. Bury the newer pseudobob here. I have to be careful with this one. Yes, let's see if this one develops correctly. But yeah, as you can see, it's already starting to dry out. I mean, the tip of it, but, but it doesn't look so bad, does it? So, well, let's just... Have faith in this one and the new one back here and I will make an update in a couple of months all right thank you so much for watching and see you next time have a good day bye bye